The capital city of Kentucky, Frankfurt, may not be one of the first places you think of when planning a family vacation. Still, it's certainly a southern city you should consider visiting, especially if you find yourself passing through the Bluegrass State. Situated along the banks of the Kentucky River, Frankfurt is a town that offers a little something for everyone. Whether you're interested in exploring museums, galleries, and gorgeous public parks, or eager to sample Kentucky's signature spirit, bourbon, Frankfurt has all the bases covered. Join Vucation as we explain why Frankfurt, Kentucky deserves a lot more praise than it typically gets. Kentucky's Two State Capitol Buildings it might be a bit unusual, but there are actually two Capitol buildings in Frankfurt. The site currently used to conduct state government business was selected by the Kentucky General Assembly in 1904, and construction was wrapped up just six years later. While this newer building might not be quite as charming as the old Capitol building, which can be found across the Kentucky River in downtown Frankfurt, the current Capitol still offers self-guided tours that will take you to areas of interest such as its floral clock and enormous statue of Abraham Lincoln. The old Capitol is now a museum as well as the home of the Kentucky Historical Society. Since both Capitol buildings are relatively close to each other, we recommend knocking out both of them in the same afternoon. Tour a Bourbon Distillery you can't visit Kentucky without taking time to sample its world-famous bourbon whiskey. There are more barrels of bourbon aging in the bluegrass state at this very moment than there are Kentucky residents. One of the best spots to try out this local delicacy can be found along the banks of the Kentucky River. Buffalo Trace Distillery claims to be the longest continuously operating distillery in the country. The property where they produce their wares dates back to the late 18th century. Since then, the distillery has endured countless floods and tornadoes. Plus, they made it through Prohibition, which is a pretty remarkable feat in and of itself. A visit to their facility gives guests a fascinating glimpse into Buffalo Trace's distillation process. On top of that, you might even hear a ghost story or two. Guided tours also will give you a chance to sample their signature product itself. And even if you aren't a drinker or are under 21, Buffalo Trace has something special for you to sip on as well, as they also provide free samples of their craft root beer. Learn about conservation at Salado Wildlife Education Center. Just a 10-minute drive from Frankfurt, this facility teaches visitors about Kentucky's native fish and wildlife population through several outdoor and indoor hands-on exhibits. Guests can see a wide range of Kentucky animal habitats, from lush rolling hillsides to green prairies, bubbling streams, and swampy marshes. Inside, you'll find the Eastern Forest Diorama, where live snakes, enormous turtles, and friendly fish reside in aquariums. The site also has miles of paved trails, where you just might get a chance to see wildlife like bears, bison, and bald eagles. Salado also has other gardens and habitats where you can get up close and personal with the native plant life. There are several quiet picnic areas as well, and even a lake where fishing is permitted. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, give it a like, and be sure to subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already, and stick around for more of the best of Frankfurt. The Thomas D. Clark Center for Kentucky History This museum spans 167,000 square feet and also serves as a research facility. The center proudly displays a large range of permanent and rotating exhibits, as well as an extensive research library. Their main exhibit is called A Kentucky Journey, and it gives visitors a glimpse into Kentucky's past, from prehistoric times to the modern era. The Martin F. Schmidt Research Library serves as a genealogy and historical research resource. The massive facility has all sorts of artifacts on display, such as books, manuscripts, photographs, and other relics of the past. We also recommend checking out the center's Keeneland Changing Exhibits Gallery, which hosts a variety of temporary exhibits as well as a collection of memorabilia related to Abraham Lincoln. Visit the Governor's Mansion Since 1914, this mansion has housed 26 Kentucky governors and their families. It's not only used as the governor's private place of residence, but it also serves as their official public building. The building was built in 1914 in the Beaux Arts design. It took inspiration from the Petit Trianon Palace in Versailles. As such, its interior was also designed with French neoclassical themes in mind. Today, the mansion is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Although it's a bit of a rarity these days, the Kentucky Governor's Mansion is open for public tours. Step back in time at Liberty Hall Historic Site This site consists of two historic homes. 
the first being that of John Brown, who was Kentucky's first senator. The residence was built for his family and is surrounded by three acres of immaculate gardens. Liberty Hall was built in 1876 in the Georgian style of architecture. The adjacent Orlando Brown House was built in the Greek Revival style in 1835. Both mansions are decorated with period-appropriate furniture and furnishings and feature beautifully preserved portraits of the Brown family. Programs are offered to visitors that show what life in Kentucky was like in the 19th century. Activities like cooking, music, crafts, and hearthside are demonstrated. Lectures and seminars are also often given by various experts. The gardens are free to explore and guided tours are held daily at Liberty Hall. Take a hike at Red River Gorge. A little over an hour's drive from Frankfurt is this nature lover's wonderland. Located inside the expansive Daniel Boone National Forest, Red River Gorge offers outdoor activities such as kayaking, zip lining, rock climbing, horseback riding, and hiking. Here, the historic Red River has cut through the region for millions of years, carving out over 150 sandstone arches, including the picturesque natural bridge. This is the only place east of the Rockies that has as many freestanding arches. You'll also find many beautiful waterfalls, rock shelters, and jagged cliffs. Red River Gorge has been designated as a national natural landmark, and admission is free. Satisfy your sweet tooth at the Rebecca Ruth Candy Company. Here we have the home of the original bourbon ball. In case you've never tried one, a bourbon ball is a round, dark chocolate candy filled with a creamy bourbon-flavored filling and topped with a pecan. The Rebecca Ruth Candy Company has been making these sweet treats for over a hundred years. The company was started in 1919 by Ruth Hanley Bowie and Rebecca Gooch, two school teachers who were trying to come up with a viable way to support themselves to become self-sufficient. A horrendous fire at the factory almost forced the company to go under, but generous donations from devoted customers helped keep the company from having to shut down. During WW2, customers who believed in the company even went as far as to donate their own sugar rations so that the factory could keep making candy throughout the war. Tours of the facility are held daily in which visitors will get to see the humble yet fascinating production process. There's also a small museum that showcases a handful of vintage pieces of equipment and other memorabilia. And yes, you do get to sample one of their world-famous bourbon balls at the end of the tour. Take in a show at the Grand Theater. Originally constructed in 1911 as a vaudeville theater, the Grand was then converted into a movie theater for several decades. In the early aughts, the Grand was given a much-needed facelift and was updated to serve as a concert venue. Live musical performances, theater events, films, art exhibitions, and children's theater events are held throughout the year. Check their schedule online to see what the current lineup includes, and order tickets in advance. Get lost in nature at Leslie Morris Park. If you're the type who enjoys the peace and serenity of a lush green space and forests, Leslie Morris Park at Fort Hill is a great place to go for a leisurely stroll. Not only will you come face to face with some of Kentucky's flora and fauna, but you'll also get a bit of a history lesson. It was here that a civil war battle between the Union and Confederacy took place. Two forts dating back to the Civil War are preserved at this site, along with a beautifully maintained log cabin that once belonged to the Sullivan family. The park has miles of hiking trails, multiple picnic pavilions, and offers a photo-worthy view of downtown Frankfurt. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Frankfurt? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.